Princeville is the oldest town in America founded by enslaved people, known for both its rich history and its resilience. The town was nearly destroyed by Hurricane Floyd in 1999 and again by Matthew in 2016. Just take a look at some of this devastation. It is unthinkable. Today, leaders took a step toward protecting that community and preventing that type of flooding in the future. As WRL's Heidi Kirk reports, the town broke ground on a series of infrastructure meant to protect Princeville. WRL News has been reporting on flooding in Princeville for decades. In fact, this is one of the oldest videos I found in our archives from Hurricane Floyd in 1999. And now 25 years later, there are finally solutions on the horizon. It's drizzling in Princeville, a harsh reminder of what can happen when it rains. Anytime it's very, very heavy rainfall, we the citizens of Princeville become very nervous. Now twice in her lifetime, Linda Joyner has nearly lost her family home to flooding. Once in 1999 during Hurricane Floyd and again in 2016 during Matthew. You see right above the family pic, the word family, the water was maybe just shy of touching the, the, the ceiling. Joyner is not alone. Almost everyone you ask will tell you how devastating it can be when the Tar River breaches the banks, leaving shells of homes and businesses. The town broke ground on a new project to relocate Princeville's critical infrastructure, like water lines and emergency services, out of flood-prone areas to this 53-acre lot. The lot will also be prepped for new homes and businesses. As a commissioner, it's something Joyner fought for for years. Does it give you more confidence that Princeville can ride out a storm again? Absolutely, and that's what we are preparing for. It comes just years after the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers spent nearly $40 million to upgrade the levee along the Tar River. Now, I'm told the first step in this project is to move all that critical infrastructure out to the 53-acre site, and that's expected to be done in 2026. Heidi Kirk, WRL News in Princeville. And this $18 million project is primarily funded by FEMA and the rest from various state and federal agencies.